Hello and welcome to my Moles and Equations Past Paper Question video. So today we're going to talk about calcium carbonate and how it reacts with hydrochloric acid to get calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide and H2O. So we need to find two observations that you would expect to see during the rea reaction that's actually visually see not what actually happens. And we need to do some moles. 0.04 grams of calcium carbonate is added to 25 centimeters cubed of 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid. Um, we need to explain what is meant by the concentration of hydrochloric acid. And we need to explain how many moles of calcium carbonate we used during the experiment. And we need to also calculate how many moles of HCl are required to react to this amount of calcium carbonate. And we also need to show that hydrochloric acid is, is, is in excess. And we need to find one large scale use of a group named group 2 compound that is being used to reduce acidity in something. And this household bleach question contains sodium chlorate and SAL. I'll let you read that bit. How many moles of O2 were released? And one mole of gas molecules occupies 24 decimeters cubed. How many moles of NaClO were five? It were in five centimeters cubed of the bleach. And what is the concentration in moles per decimeters cubed of NaClO in the beach bleach? And we also need to find the if whether or not the information on this label is correct or not. And we need to suggest an equation for an excess of hydrochloric acid with household bleach. So I'll let you do these two questions and I'll go for the answers. There's a document on Google Docs that I have put in the, des the description if you want to print these out if, and if you can't see them on this video as the boxes are in the way. Okay, so two observations, physical bubbling as gas given off, all effervescence, although Again, it's very tempting if you are a fan of the ba of the band Evanescence to write Evanescence rather than Effervescence, so don't use this one in case you can't spell it on the day and there. Just use these two and the solid dissolves. And I kinda gave it away. 0 0.05s of moles of hydrochloric acid dissolved in the thousand centimeters cubed or one decimeter cubed. You can also put this is the concentration. This is the conch. I'll just put. And. How many moles of calcium carbonate were reacted? 3.996 times 10 to the minus 4. The molar mass is 40.1 for calcium, 12 for carbon, and 16 times 3 for oxygen. And we divide that by 0 0.04 to get 0 0.0003996. And if you have a fancy down, fancy down calculator that does it in standard form, then you get that instead of this. And part 3, moles of HCl. 3.996 times 10 to the minus 4 times 2 is 7.992 times 10 to the minus 3 moles or 0 0.000792 moles. Now we need to show HCl is excess. So looking back at the top, 0.05 moles per decimeter cubed hydrochloric acid and then we have also have the volume. So we know the moles now in 25 centimeters cubed but the actual amount to react with the amount of calcium carbonate is 7.992 so HCl is in excess because it's 2 moles to get 1 mole of, of calcium chloride but um, Yeah, it, it's in it's in excess because only 1.25 moles is required. So it's actually less than that. You actually need less than that value there. 
So on large scale use, I've put calcium used to neutralize acidic soils. Um, and the compound will be calcium hydroxide or CaOH twice. And for this question, moles by two released. We use the gas equation now to rearrange to have volume of gas over 24, which is our constant, to get the moles back. And if you do it the other way around, 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 times by 24, you get 0.084 decimeters cubed. So that way we know we've done it right. Another way to check it is to just do 84 over 1000, just to get 0 0.084, and put 0 0.084 over 24. Um, so, having a ratio of 1 to 1 now, the moles of NaClO in 5 centimeters cubed of the bleach is identical because the ratio is of 1 to 1. So it's 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles here. And the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of NaCl and the breach is... Three point five times ten to the minus three all over um five over one thousand and that is For this one, I label the bottle of household bleach states that the bleach contains a minimum amount of 4.5 grams per 100 cu centimeters cubed of NaClO. So now I'm working out the moles of NaClO with the molar mass being 74.5, sodium being 23, chlorine being 35.5, and oxygen being 16. So we worked out the moles, that's 0 0.06042 moles over 100 centimeters cubed, and we get 0 0.60. 402 and it actually has a higher sorry lower concentration than the NaClO so we'll just put less than less concentration than specified um, so it's marked for working out the moles of NaClO, knowing that 1,000 100 over 1,000, well, it's mole over, mole over, moles over volume is concentration, and then going which one is bigger, and then determining the, whether the label and the information is correct. So, the next one. NaClO aqueous plus HCl aqueous equals CO2 gaseous plus H2O plus NaCl. Getting on to the next set of questions. Antimony is found naturally in a number of minerals, including stibnite. Stibnite typically contains 5% of Sb2S3. And anti Sb2 plus S3 plus 3 moles of iron equals 2 Sb plus 3 moles of iron Sul sulfate or sulfide. Alright, we need to work out the moles of Sb2 S3 in 500 kilograms, containing 5% by mass of Sb2 S3. And we are given the molar mass 340 grams per mole for Sb2 S3 and the relative atomic mass of Sb is 122. We need to calculate the mass of antimony that can be obtained by processing 500 kilograms of stibnite. And for this question, a student neutralized 1.5 grams of calcium oxide with 2.5 moles per decimeter cube nitric acid HNO3. And so one mole of calcium oxide to two moles of HNO3 gives you one mole of that and one mole of, one mole of that. 
so how many moles of CaO were reacted and we just calculate the volume of 2.5 moles per decimeter cubed HNO3 needed to exactly neutralize 1.5 grams of calcium oxide there's an empirical formula down there with nitrogen, hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen we need to calculate the empirical formula of compound A we also need to suggest a balanced equation for the formation of compound A from the reaction of water, ammonia and sulfur dioxide so Okay, give you a few seconds and we'll go through the questions or answers. Okay, so going for the answers now. So 500 times 0 0.05 is 25 kilograms. Finding 5% of 500 kilograms. So converting that to grams, we get 25,000 grams of SB2S3. And then dividing that by 34. 340, we get 73.53 moles. Using the accurate calculator data display, 73.5294 dot 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 times 2, we get 147.0588 moles. And then times in that accurate value by 122, we get 17.94 kilograms. Uh, for this question, deleting all the boxes. We get 1.5 over 40.1 plus 16, which is 0 0.0267 moles, or 0 0.027 moles. If you round it, using the accurate calculated display, we get um, 10.69 centimeters cubed. As that at the top is is decimeters cubed, the concentration in decimeters cubed, times it up by a thousand, we get 10.69. So that's a volume. That's the volume. So it's in centimeters cubed, and that, and this is the volume in decimeters cubed. Uh, for this particular one, nit nitrogen now 24.12 over 14 is 1.72, which is about 2, 6.94 over 1, 6.94 moles, and 2.61, 32.1 is 0.86. So the numbers in red are the number of moles that I found in green over 0.86 dollar dot so once you use that full calculator display you will find these numbers so the whole empirical formula is N2H8SO3 and the equation is H2O plus 2N8 2 ammonia plus SO2 equals N2H8SO3 so working back, working backwards, I went for the oxygen, knowing that SO2 has already has two oxygens, so we only need one water molecule in order to get three oxygens on this side. Sulfur again, there's only one sulfur atom in, on the left, so one sulfur atom on the right. H8 is two here, and six here if I have two ammonias, and two nitrogens if I use the two ammonias, and that's it. That's all the balancing you need to do. So moving on now to the next set of questions and for this question we have CO2 plus 2 NaOH, NaOH goes to NaCl plus NaClO plus H2O one mole of CO2 occupies 24 decimeters cubed so what is meant by the term the mole how many moles of Na sodium hydroxide within 120 cubed volume of NaOH we need to calculate the volume of Cl2 that was needed to react with the NaOH used. And what is the common use for the solution that the student prepared? And the student reacted 1.44 grams of titanium with chlorine to form 5.7 grams of chloride X. How many moles of titanium was, was reacted? How many moles of chlorine were reacted? And we need to determine the empirical formula for X and construct a balanced equation for the reaction between titanium and chlorine. Give you a five second pause and I'll go for the answers in a bit. Okay, so deleting all the boxes. The mole is the number of particles, there are atoms in 12 grams of the carbon 12 isotope. One mark. 0.275 over 120 over 1000 is 0.33 moles. 
0.033 over 2 because the molar ratio is 2 to 1. 0.0165 moles. And then we times that by 24 and we get 0.396 decimeters cubed. Notice that they haven't put any units. That's the second mark. Right, please. Put in the right units. And the common use of the solution that the student prepared is prepared is bleached. And for this question, moles and titanium react reacted. Well, at 1.44, not times, but divided. Divided by 47.9 is 0 0.03006 moles. Again, it's not times, it's divided. Don't. 35.5 is 0 0.12 moles. And we look over two boxes. So, empirical formula 0 0.03006. 0 0.03006 is 1. 0 0.12 over 0 0.3006 is 4. So we get TiCl4. That is the answer. Up there. And Ti plus 2Cl2 is TiCl4. Solid, gaseous, solid. And um, that's it for this past paper question video. Um, I hope you found this useful. And thank you for watching. And goodbye.